right, so in this video, what we're going to do is talk about a tank simulation, right? So tank simulation routine, we're going to actually go through and put a routine in into our program that we already have, right? We're going ahead and do this and talk about why, why would you do a tank simulation routine or a simulation routine altogether, right? So doing so, uh, if say, for instance, you're off of site and you're programming a, you know, the, a project or something off of site and you don't have the real world devices where you can utilize those, right? So in the instance of a tank, you would use like a pressure transducer or say, for instance, a, a you know, like a, a pressure or a uh, indicator rod or something like a, a probe or, or something of something that would you could actually control the level of right you would actually get an indication off of a real world device like a 4 to 20 or maybe an ethernet device that would give you an indication back to your actual program to understand where the actual real world level is now what we're doing is we're going to simulate that process right so in the instance of simulation what we need to do is make a simulation routine so that we can easily understand if we're not on site, we want to delete all this stuff, right? Or we want to at least know where it's at so we can remove it. So we're gonna add a new routine and we're gonna call this Z. I like to do underscore Z and then we'll call this um, tank sim. It's just that simple, right? So tank sim and I'm I'm putting a Z right here in front of it so that I know that it would be something that I want to delete. Anything temporary in a program, I like to put a Z in front of it, whether it be a tag or whether it be a test bit or whether it be something that I want to come back and easily find so that if I can search throughout my program, I can go through and find anything that leads with the word Z. It would be our leads with the letter Z. I can easily find it, right? So that's easy to understand. It's it's very much a, a practice that I've employed and others have employed that really helps you understand where you're at. That are putting your initials in front of it. But again, the Z comes and helps everybody behind you because well, they, it's easy to stand out. So I want to show you another instance too. Why you're doing this is we're going to come in and if, if I just hit finalize edits and normally you wouldn't do this, but I'm going to hit finalize edits and show you is you're not allowed to finalize any edits that would have any kind of harmful atmosphere as far as it like this rung would say it's empty right in this instance the rung is absolutely empty it has no way to scan and do a function so it's going to actually tell you that there's a problem it will not finalize the edit so the software is smart enough to know and it's also smart enough to know if you're using the wrong data types so if there's a problem when you go to finalize your edits you're going to see the indicator down here in your diagnostics view to show where it's at. And generally it will have a hover over where you can see the error and take you straight to that task, right? Or uh, take you straight to the, the point where the error is. Sometimes it will not, but most of the time it will. Now in the instance of that, I just wanted to show that real quick because we haven't really gone over that. You know, I just actually have been teaching you how to do that without not even going back and talking about why it wouldn't accept. So in the instance of this, what we're going to do is open up our main routine. And we talked about this being a simulation, right? So we're going to go ahead and add another routine or another JSR. We're going to do a JSR and then we're going to come in. So come in and let's blow this up a little bit so you can see it. And I want to get this zoom in. Okay. So I'm going to call this this routine, but what I'm going to do is I have this a little special call out is I'm gonna have a bit in here that I control, right? That I would control and I would call this Z uh, sim, or let's call this batch sim active, batch, batch sim active. Okay, so now we have a, a bit in here, just like I would do anything else. I have a Z in front of it, so I know so this would be okay so if i'm if i ship this out if i take it to where i'm installing it if this bit is not active then it's not going to have it's not going to scan this routine it's not going to actually have that routine active so this is why i would do this right so in that token if i have it out in the field i can turn it off if i want to test the real world devices and make sure the real world devices are working just like i programmed off of site again and now in our environment, we don't actually have the real world devices. So we're going to do the simulation full time. But again, I'm giving you an instance of doing the like a project type scenario 
why you would do this, right? Why you would go and employ a, a technology or a thought pattern just like this, right? Any kind of testing, any kind of processing, any kind of like simulation that you're not going to have in your real world of, of your program working all the time, then you want to have, you know, deployed just like this, right? So I wanted to make this real short video talking about why we would do this for the simple fact of when we go in our next video, make our tank simulation logic, we're going to come back into our tank simulation logic. We want to go ahead and use that, right? So we're going to go ahead and build that logic out. Now, I want to make this real short video to explain why we're doing this for the simple fact that it, that way you get the, the thought pattern and the, the, you know, the theory of operation behind it so that we don't actually, you know, make the videos too terribly long because when you're programming the videos can be long enough and I want to make sure that you understand why we're doing what we're doing when we're doing it. So with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next video.